For those of you who joined us for our inaugural 2K TV Tuesday event, thank you for helping us make it a huge success. We were there competing and checking out all the action and you all rocked it. But there was one that stood out above the rest. The 2K TV Tuesday MVP goes to... XX Dowski, who won 98 games. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And inside the locker room, everyone trying to lock in. Get mentally ready for another hard-fought NBA battle. Many people rushing through the Boston thoroughfares to be with us here tonight. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce is our reporter. And in that March stretch, some interesting things going on in the East. You take a look at the Celtics. They have looked in control all season long. Aren't showing any signs of taking their foot off the gas anytime soon. And of course, Milwaukee, two spots below. Seeing where the Bucks are, they have to be pleased with their position this late in the season. You have to think they've accomplished every goal they set for themselves thus far. And I know it took a long time for people around the league to trust their success, but I don't think there's anybody left out there who doesn't think they're for real at this point. Before we get going here, we have time for a pregame courtside report. Ali LaForce, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Jalen Brown making his first All-Star appearance in 2021, his fifth season in the league. But you ask him, he says he's just getting started. He said, quote, I don't have a ceiling. I'm just going to keep my head down and keep working and see where it leads me. Year after year, he continues to improve, Allie. And we're watching two highly disciplined defenses. Grant, when you look at the teams that aren't in that category, where do they usually fall short? Well, B.A., I call it the three C's. Commitment, comprehension, and communication. All three are needed to defend at the highest level. Now, if you're missing one, it degrades the others. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. We've got Devin Vassell. Also, Giannis Antetokounmpo out there. And it's Steven Chenzo in a two-guard. And for Boston, so the Bucks win the tip. Pass to Anadokounmpo. That shot is off. And Boston going the other way now. They defeated Washington in their last game. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. They were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Boy, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road. And that's exactly what they showed last game. And Anadokounmpo, here we go. And he's missed his first two shots of the game. Here's Campbell, 17 points for him, last game against the Wizards in Washington. And he gave them headaches with his defense. Constant activity at that end with four steals to show for. To the left side wing. Here's Garuba, defended by Brown. They get it back. Still looking to get their offense in gear. 0 for 3 to start this game. Back to Williams. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And Tatum knows how to find his guys in their spots now. A solid passer at his position. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line, Robert Williams. At the line with one shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. The free throw drops for Williams. The Bucks have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Outside, DiVincenzo. And he's going for the lob! 
And got us with the tumble. And Anna Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. And you know, when Giannis takes a shot, the defense wins if it's a shot outside of the paint. They want him taking jumping balls. And it's going to be out of bounds. Austin will have another go. Here's Doherty. He's averaging about six points per game. Outside, Brown. From behind the arc. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. You know, Clark, with Giannis, it's impossible to keep him out of the paint. Well, once he gets in there, it's too late. I mean, fortunately, he knows that's his strength, and he butters his bread in there. Still, sometimes, he'll bail out a team with that jump shot. Gets it to drop. Now Giannis two of four. You know, I think you got to push Giannis further away if you're the defender there. I mean, he's just too big of a threat inside. Pass to Brown. Tatum inside. Last game, 26 points for him. Can't get it to go. Making him 0 for 2. On to Kumpo. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Personal foul. And, you know, with Giannis on the floor, B.A., he's able to completely blow a team out on his own. I mean, he can take over a game with big-time performances. We've seen it. Misses for Anadokounmpo. You know, with Giannis, as you said, Clark, the numbers he can put up are eye-popping. Yeah, he can hit you for 40 points and 20 rebounds on any given night, not to mention how well he's grown as a passer. I mean, his assist totals and block shots typically are otherworldly as well. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. Denwitty, he's checked in for Boston. And the free throw, no good. And for teams outside the playoff hunt, that 1-2-3 Cancun chant is going around now, Clark. I think former player Nick Van Exel, supposedly the originator of that 1-2-3 chant on VA. You wonder whether some airlines might want to use that one for a marketing slogan for themselves. Tatum, shot is good. Tatum takes some contact but pushes through to get his shot. That's good aggressiveness there. Throws it up high. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Boston trailing. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Campbell. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Campbell still getting warmed up offensively no buckets yet in the game from him and that's what they want to do get him open looks early tipped away three on three Dinwiddie against DiVincenzo Pass to Campbell. Milwaukee with the rebound. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Now out of the Kumpo. And that one goes. Yes. Four for seven for him so far. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Outside Tatum. 
Drives to the hoop. And finished by Tatum. Wow! An athletic forward who dunks it with style. He's showing off his dunking ability right there. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Williams grabs the board. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish it. He knows it. Long opportunity. Pass to Doherty. Outside, Williams. Six to shoot. Here's Doherty. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. The Bucks have got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Here's Vassell, hounded by Tatum. Vassell can't get it to go. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Here's Campbell. Milwaukee with the rebound. Adana Kumpo has got five rebounds in the game. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Here's Doherty. Adana Kumpo covering. Pass to Campbell. Now Tatum. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. You know, over his first couple of seasons, Tatum has really increased his trips to the line. Playing more aggressive. line, Jason Tatum at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. The potential that Tatum still possesses to get better is quite scary. I mean, this guy has done an awful lot in a very short time. He's a versatile forward with tremendous skills and a work ethic to match. He's perfect from the line this time. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Pass to DiVincenzo. Knocks it loose. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Boston with the ball. The Celtics have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Smart passes to Dinwiddie. Misses off the left iron. The Bucks trail. DiVincenzo on the wing. Hounded by Tatum. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Boston's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Dinwiddie passes to Tatum. Back to Dinwiddie. goes. Now he's one for two. For Milwaukee, they've got six of 14 in so far. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Last time they met in Milwaukee. And the win was there for them, but they just let it get away. Just couldn't make enough plays late. And you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, those are hard to get over sometimes. Riller, he's checked in for Dinwiddie. Who poked away. It's stolen by Smart. Blocked! And they get it back. Now Middleton. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Pass to DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. Tries to snap the cold streak. That shot off. And Boston going the other way now. Here's Riller. The drive by Smart. Outside Tatum. Back to Smart. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Hey, defenders already have a lot to worry about with Tatum scoring. When he's making passes like that, too, 
Watch out. Here's Nora. 11 points for him last game against Indiana. Can't get it to drop. Tatum with some nice D. Pass to Smart. The kick to Tatum. Again, the Celtics good for two more. I love seeing Tatum continue to work on that jump shot. I mean, he's a fantastic scorer. And with the jump shot added and refined, he's only going to get better. Timeout called. Milwaukee, fresh off a win against the Pacers. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. You know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. Make sure something's dancer is dancing. to DiVincenzo. Mamo Kelishvili. Will it go? Tatum with some nice D. The Celtics with the lead. Inside. Smart with the ball. Here's Riller. Tatum inside. Middleton covering. Tatum can't hit. The Bucks shooting 33% in the first quarter. Middleton outside. Offensive rebound. DiVincenzo on the wing. Defended by Smart. Mamo Kelishvili. Out to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at three. And another shot. Boston with a rebound. Tatum's got a rebound number five here tonight. A little mid-range shot is up. Here's Claxton. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Outside, DiVincenzo fires the three. They shoot again. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his fourth rebound in this one. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Feeling. Tatum with the block. Tatum makes it easy for his teammates with his defense. He's always a threat to block shots, and he can cover any part of the floor. Now here's Tatum. Give him eight points now. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Tatum against Middleton. Releases from 15, and he gets that one. Middleton. I think Middleton is absolutely dynamic in when he's involved in the pick and roll. He's really skilled at his decision making. He knows when to pass and when to shoot. And so it's Boston up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period, just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. More 2K action in just a moment. One thing that makes the Greek freak so dominant is he drives to score, but also to pass. He breaks it down for us. I'm a lot more comfortable. Uh, it's because my teammates trust me. My team trusts me to make the right play. And, you know, lately, late uh, in the game, I uh, just try to make the right play. That can be a pass. Uh, that can be a shot. But that's my mindset down the stretch. About the numbers. I mean, B.A., he just wants to win. That's another thing that makes him great. 
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. We've got Nicholas Claxton, and it's Peyton in at the two. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. They grab their own miss from outside the arc. No luck on that one. The Bucks shooting only 26% for this game. Not good. Middleton against Brown. And he banks in the layup. Middleton, a score by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Drive by Brown. Oh! And a dunk by Brown! Brown with that amazing athleticism, putting on a show out there with jams like that. And the emergence of Jalen Brown's ability to take over at the offensive end, Grant, it's been a joy to watch. Oh, such a joy. I mean, his improvement as a ball handler may be the biggest reason. He can drive the ball either direction now, create the space he needs for his jumper, and he's no longer a turnover waiting to happen. Claxton can't get it to go. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. To the wing on the left. Shoots from 12. Rebounded by the Celtics. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. The steal! Brown against Middleton. Just five on the clock. This one for three. The rebound by Doherty. For Boston, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. To the middle. Cuts off the pass. Man, can't get it. He's now one of three. And the Celtics shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. And Brown with the stuff. Just awesome speed from Brown. Blasting off towards the Milwaukee. bucket and slamming it down. Milwaukee calls timeout. Grant, your dad played pro football. You think that players who grew up around pro sports have an advantage? Yes, B.A. Obviously, being around a professional athlete, understanding the dedication, the sacrifice, the work that goes into it, really, I think, helped me at an early age as I was developing in a different sport. Here's Nora. Off target from three-point range. For Boston, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Williams in the post. Not enough on that one as it misses. Milwaukee's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Garuba. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Usman. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. The first one falls. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. Here's Brown, and the bucket is good. Brown's got eight points. Brown really is at his best when he takes it inside. I mean, the defense has no idea what to do with it. And he lobs it up to the rim! And Giannis 
with the jam. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Chris Middleton, a multiple All-Star, yet always seems like he flies under the radar. Coach Bud said with how steady and subtle his game is, both defensively and offensively, he's a heck of a player that sometimes I think is underappreciated. But guys, I'd offer, not by his teammates. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. You know, we talk about growing the game internationally, and the NBA has done it better than most all other sports. There's not a better ambassador than Giannis. His parents are from Nigeria. He grew up in Greece, and he's just a terrific role model for, for young kids um, all over the world. Dinwiddie outside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And a look now at the Milwaukee Bucks' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll kick off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. Then on Tuesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Orlando, going up against the Magic. And you know for that matchup with Charlotte, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. Free throw good, Dinwiddie. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. For Milwaukee, they've gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Pass to Vassell. Lana Kumpo outside. Six on the shot clock. Shooting for Milwaukee. Two shots. down the first one and give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter yeah I like everything you said there because when all else fails if you can get to the strike that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game because you get points and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much it's both from the stripe for Boston they've gotten over 50 percent of their shots to go five for nine in the second outside Brown slow down Brown when he's scoring the ball like this. I mean, he's simply on a tear right now. Over to the wing. Here's Ana Kumpo. And they'll get another chance. Oh, they get a hand on it. Brown with the steal. Here's Campbell. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Pass to Vassell. Here's Nora. Shots blocked! And they get it back. To the paint. Here's Denwitty. Unable to get that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. It'll be a quick stopover at home before they have to get back out on the road. 
The Celtics have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Brown inside. Hunter de Kumpo's there. Williams on the wing. Shot clock at six. Pass to Doherty. Left side, Brown. Over Hunter de Kumpo. Rejected by Hunter de Kumpo. Hook loose. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Knocked away. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Clock at six. Screen, 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 screen. In transition, here they come. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Arnold Kupo. Di Vincenzo, he's checked in for the Bucks. Tatum against Honor de Kumpo. Let's it fly. No good off the back of the rim. The Bucks trail. Here's Garuba. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. Great opportunity. Just couldn't complete the play. Yeah, it is unfortunate, embarrassing. He just lost his concentration for a split second. And that's all it took. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Six to shoot. Here's Vassell, defended by Brown. Williams grabs the board. Wow. Devin Vassell, that's his second personal foul. Second team foul. And so it's Boston with it. Timeout called the Celtics. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Come on and get loud. Here are the Celtics dancers. Give them a hand, fans. It's your Celtics dancers dance team. Brown finds Dinwiddie. There's the drive. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Celtics. Spencer Dinwiddie. At the line with one shot. Free throw good, Dinwiddie. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Pass to Garuba. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. And tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Hey, you leave him open, he's going to make the defense pay for that level of disrespect. Dinwiddie against Steven Chento. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. To halt the run. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. He's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Dinwiddie passes to Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Look at Tatum. Get up. I love whenever he goes up with that kind of aggression and force. He's not messing around at all. Taking names and making statements. Garuba. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got rebound number seven tonight. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Outside, Williams. 
two minutes remaining in the first Nora half. grabs the board. Two minutes. He just couldn't finish the job that time, and too bad, because it was a nice look. Here's Garuba, and he was Boston fouled while foul. in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Bucks, Usman Garuba at the line for two. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Celtics. Claxton, he's checked in for Williams. Payton comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's Riller in for Dinwiddie. Good on both. I like his aggressive approach this quarter. Getting to the line and creating foul problems for the opposition. Pass to Tatum. And here's Smart. There's the triple. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Smart has got six here in the quarter. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. Mamo Kelishvili, hounded by Tatum. He hits that one. Two for five now. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Pass to Smart. 105 left in the second quarter. The layup off target. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Offensive rebound. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. You know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. The Celtics making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. And that one misses. Austin's gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Tatum, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, he's driving inside. Tatum is either going to finish or get himself a trip to the line. Jason Tatum at the line for two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. And so Tatum nails both of them. There's 49 seconds left in the second period. Pointer. He drops it from range. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Pass to Doherty. Tatum with it. Middleton covering. Tatum inside. 12 points for him. Four on the clock. The three ball. The rebound by the Bucks. Now, here's DiVincenzo. It's been all about Jalen Brown for the Boston Celtics. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We'll be right back after this word. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. A tremendous game we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He had 12 points and one steal. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? 
Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them. Not so much for the other team. It's been the difference in the game. And Kenny, how about what you saw from the Bucks? Hey, Ernie, it's not hard to see why they're down. They're not even 35% from the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they could create better shots, then they have a better chance. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo is out there with Devin Vassell. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo, and it's Karuba in at the center position, locking down the middle. Here's Campbell. No good on the triple. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Anadokounmpo. The turnaround. No good there, and it's Boston the other way. Here's Campbell. Now here's Tatum. Unloads from 13. On an Akumpo with the block. Hey, when Giannis is lurking nearby, you got to be careful because his wingspan can erase a lot of shots. Outside, Brown. It doesn't go for him. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. Pass to Vassell. Here's DiVincenzo. With the drive. And here is Hanada Kumpo. And the deficit down Giannis. inside single digits. Hanada Kumpo's got 17. Giannis continues to expand his offensive arsenal, and with that, his confidence and ability can actually take over more. Outside, Brown. It's off his leg. And it's whistled a kick. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. in the second half. Four misses right off the bat. And you know, when DiVincenzo keeps his hands moving on defense, he's really effective. Great work there. Ana Kumpo, left side. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Vassell. Shoots over Tatum. That's tipped. And we're going to have a jump ball. And the Bucks with the possession here. Pass to Vassell. Three-pointer. And the Bucks hit again from deep. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Boston calls timeout. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. 
This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher, so the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better, trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment, Allie. Interesting. Thank you. Pass to Campbell. Right side, Williams. Here's Doherty. On to Kumpo with the block. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Off the mark there with a three. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Mm -hmm. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Milwaukee calls timeout. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark Man, to get the offense going. Answer. Pass to Vassell. Now here's DiVincenzo, defended by Brown. And he lobs it up, and the jam by Adedekumpo. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Williams defending. Pass to Vassell. Takes a 13-footer. Hauled in by Brown. Boston has gotten nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Here's Campbell. Rebound, Milwaukee. And despite a struggle scoring the ball, they've done enough to build this lead. Here's Vassell. Knocks it down Devin from distance. Vassell. Vassell's got six. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. Brown can't hit. Milwaukee has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Williams defending. Back to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at five. Pass to Vassell. Shoots over Tatum. Hits the front of the rim and out. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Now here's Brown. And there's the drive. And the jam by Brown. Hey, I don't think there's any excuse for allowing Brown to get that deep. I mean, he's brilliant at throwing it down if the defense doesn't stop. Number Count 13. it. They're doing the job on both ends, getting stops and attacking offensively. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to Ball get back on. into this one. Very impressive. No quitting these guys. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. So that's his third personal foul, first team foul. Here's Dinwiddie. Seven points in the game. Here's Claxton. Tatum from long range. Knocks down the long day. Tatum's got 15 points. Tatum aggressively looking for his shot now. Preparing before the pass around. Middleton against Dinwiddie. Now here's Middleton. He's guarded closely. No good that time. Boston's gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Dinwiddie outside. Outside, Brown. No good on the three. 
The Bucks have gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Pass to Middleton. Over Tatum. Rebound Boston. Claxton's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And on many other teams, Chris Middleton would be the star, Clark. But he plays the Robin role pretty well. Hey, I tell you what, B.A., there is nothing wrong with being 1A on the marquee when you're playing next to Giannis. He's overshadowed by the media because of Giannis, but his game Boston makes a lot of noise all Boston. over the NBA. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. Shooting two. And he makes a first. Smart's checked in for Boston. So he hits one of two from the strike. The Celtics with the lead. Down low. Here's Tatum. And he drops it in from the low post. Tatum's got 17. I tell you, we get these explosive nights from Tatum more and more often. I mean, he's got the tools of a top 10 scorer in this league, and they're on display now. Mamo Kelishvili. The rebound, Celtics. Claxton's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. On the take. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Foul, second team foul. All right, guys, what do you think about the well, offensive approach we've seen so far for Boston? Ruler. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. Hey, give them credit also for the number of layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the bucket. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Bucks trail. Middleton outside. Over Dinwiddie. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Boston has gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Into the lane. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Middleton. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And he lays it up and in. Dinwiddie's got nine. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Pass to Nora. Nice D from Tatum. And for Boston, they're shooting about 31% here in quarter number three. Here's Smart. The ball's knocked loose. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. It's not going to go for him. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Mamo Kelishvili. Pass to Nora. Middleton with it. Just five to shoot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter. But he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Grant. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. And he drops the first. Middleton is most known, quite honestly, for his scoring ability. He's a sniper from outside that you can't afford to lose contact with. Oh, 
Both good from the line that time. The Celtics shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Kicks it out to Smart. Dinwiddie outside. Sinks the trade. Dinwiddie's got five points now in the quarter. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And the layup is good off the glass. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. To the left wing. Tatum passes to Smart. Dinwiddie outside. Six on the shot clock. Rebounded by the Bucks. To the inside. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Excellent D there from Dinwiddie. The Celtics shooting around 32% in the third quarter. Yes, it's good. Smart has got 10 points. Such confidence as a passer. Hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. There's a minute 12 left in the third quarter. Here's Middleton. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Boston on offense. They're on a 16-7 run. Here's the three. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. So hard. Actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. Now here's Smart. Not a lot of room. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Two points. That one goes. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. And here's Tatum. He's got 17. Down to five on the shot clock. Launches a three. Counted from distance. Tatum's got 20 points. He's an accomplished outside shooter, and Tatum's confidence and shot selection, I think it's what makes him so deadly. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. We'll be right back with you shortly. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Now here's Middleton. He's closely guarded. There's the block. And he gets it back. Second chance effort. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. And for the Bucks. The drive by Smart. Pass to Claxton. Rebound, Milwaukee. Middleton's got his sixth rebound on the night. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. And for the Celtics. Takes it inside. Blocked! He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. To the middle. Here's Doherty. Pass to Campbell. Oh, and 
there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws That's for him coming up. Third personal foul. First team foul. Ah. Elbow. Two. At the line for your Celtics. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Claxton. Anadokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. Pass to DiVincenzo. Brown against Middleton. There's the three. The shot no good. Now Boston takes it the other way. Williams passes to Brown. Knocked loose. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Now here's DiVincenzo. And the Bucks miss again. He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. And there's the lob. It's blocked. Doesn't go that time. Some solid defense from Williams. Pass to Campbell. Here's Doherty. It's smart on the wing. Middleton covering. Clock at four. Rebound by Middleton. For Milwaukee, they've got nothing to go so far in the fourth. They're 0 for 6. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Offense has been hard to come by so far. A much needed bucket right there. <laughs> yeah, it's been a defensive battle to say the least, partner. Good to see at least somebody got the ball in the basket. Finally. Back to Brown. Let's it go from 11. And that one's long. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Williams grabs the board. He really hasn't had it offensively tonight. This team needs him to play better. Here he goes. He got a piece of it. Down low. Here's Anadokounmpo. Oh, it makes it with the kiss. Anadokounmpo's got 23. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. And the Bucks making a change here. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, guys, the head coach for the Celtics had some instruction for his guys during the break. And he implored them to be patient at the offensive end. He wants to use every second of the shot clock. He said, quote, if we take care of the ball and take our time and play D, this game is ours. Thank you for that, Allie. Pass to Middleton. From deep three-point range, Brown with some nice D. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there, and of course that one was just crazy. Williams against DiVincenzo. Here's Doherty. Tatum inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got 22. And watch how Tatum navigates the contact. Just one of the many go-to moves for him in the paint. 
Williams defending. Rebound, Boston. Yeah, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Pass to Doherty. Back to Brown. To the paint. Here's Campbell. And he makes it on the layup. And the Celtics lead by 17. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And a foul Celtics called on the way up. So he'll take two, two from the free throw line. Foul. First team foul. At the line for the Bucks. Taking two shots. down the first one. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Vassell, he's checked in for Middleton. Second free throw, no good. The Celtics have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Mox foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Doherty. Pass to Campbell. Five on the clock. Here's Doherty. Williams. Controls the rebound and the putback. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Pass to Campbell. Out left to the wing. Here's Doherty. Tatum with it. The shot that time, not on target. Here's Vassell. DiVincenzo on the wing. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Pass to Tatum. And no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. Outside, DiVincenzo. And here is Hanada Kumpo. From deep. DiVincenzo can't hit. It's just so hard to score in this league, especially when you're out of rhythm. you got to feel for him tonight. Tatum with it, guarded by Anadokounmpo. Unloads from 13, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. Milwaukee's got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Pounded by Tatum. It's really easy to understand why this team thinks so highly of Antetokounmpo. I mean, a smart player, he takes high percentage shots, and he's team first in his approach. Pass to Tatum. Here's Doherty. And a nice finish on the layup. And the Celtics lead by 18. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Rob! 
Inside, here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And Boston calls time here. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. And the Celtics making a change here. Dinwiddie's checked in. Williams passes to Tatum. Boston, no good that time either. And the Bucks shooting an unimpressive 30% in this game so far. Hounded by Tatum to the inside. Here's DiVincenzo. The rebound, Celtics. Dinwiddie's got four rebounds in the game. Outside, Williams. Outside, Tatum. Puts up a three. Connects from downtown. Tatum's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Whoa. That man is laser focused. Now, no that's walking. bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. With efforts to grow the game in Europe and Asia and Africa, really everywhere from the NBA. Grant, how do you see the future of this game? Well, I think it lies in the young international stars. I mean, you see guys like Luka and Nikola Jokic from Europe and Joel Embiid from Africa. I think we'll see more and more of that as the league and the popularity of basketball grows overseas. I mean, those guys will have the drive and the examples to succeed overseas. Dinwiddie passes to Tatum. A minute 42 left to play in the fourth. Doherty rejected by Anadokounmpo. Got a piece of it and stolen by Williams. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Celtics. And they got a huge boost from their reserves tonight. Yeah, the, the point differential between the two benches was a deciding factor in this game. And tonight, a fantastic effort to deliver their 48th win of the year. And they did everything out there they needed to do in the final game of this season series, finishing with a winning record of 3-1 and one against the Bucks. And no question this was a team effort. But you have to love how big a night this was for Jason Tatum. Tell you what, this guy worked his behind off on both ends of the floor. He was really an intimidating presence out there. Clock at six. Up top, Dinwiddie. He can't get it to go. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. And the shot's good. Giannis and his fantastic the performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Doherty. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. So it's Boston easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Jason, congrats on the win. How do you prepare yourself to carry such a big scoring load for this team? Uh, just a lot of hard work. You know, my teammates trust me and vice versa. So, uh, you know, we do a good job. Whoever is hot, um, you know, getting them the ball and just making the right play, whatever it is. That's what's great about this team. It could be anybody's night. Thanks, Jason. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks.
For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. So long, everybody.